Grand Rising, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us here on the higherlearningnetwork.org. Teen Talent Contest for 2020 winter winners. Over the past month, we, well, over the summer, we put out um, feelers for a teen talent contest, singing, dancing, rapping, acting, all that good stuff. And it was such a challenge that we had to bring on some help. So, ta-da! That would be Falake, who is our teen talent manager. Thank you so much for joining us today, Falake. We appreciate you. We love you. We appreciate you. We thank you. Because we could not have done it without you. <laughs> You brought your talent, your love for the children, your excitement, your energy, and I love it all. Most grateful for you. We appreciate you and we thank you for all the work that you've done and continue to do because the contest is not over with. We got to announce the winners today. So what has this experience been like for you, Falaki? This has been the best experience. Zelda, thank you so much for inviting me to go along with you on this fabulous journey. I had so much fun watching videos from everywhere. I was so inspired by these children, best-selling authors as teenagers. Yeah. We had a social media manager. We had a TED speaker. Yeah. We had a talented kid. Yes. Uh, e what was it, an eco warrior or something like that? Yeah, I was like, what? What's an eco warrior? Really? Teach me, Model, <laughs> dancer, rapper. Yes, yes, and doing them all very well. And I'm uh, and, and I'm so glad to say that I enjoyed the rap because I am not a rap person, but some of the rappers were so meaningful. Yes, you felt it. It was like you did. Not the vulgar kind of rapping. This is the rapping that you can appreciate. So that's right. Thank you for it all the teens and the preteens. Yes. Thank you and your families. And yes. Zelda, thank and you so much for this vision. Well, as I said before, this was not my vision. Uh, our mission at the Higher Learning Network was to teach youth behind the scenes radio, television, and print production because that's our, our, our background in broadcasting. But due to uh, distancing requirements, we couldn't take on the liability of having children close to each other and causing a problem. So hence the teen talent contest. So that's where the idea came from. The spirit gave it to me, brought it through me, and then this, well, this is what we have. And then from that teen talent contest, we got so much interest. Then oh we had three teens. Oh my goodness. Contest. What really yeah. amazed me, Falaki, was that there were very few from the United States. That blew me away because we were in Chicago. In yes. And we got them from what? All continents, Africa, um, Asia, Europe, Australia, yep. Europe, New Zealand, America, South America. Yes, we oh, sure did. over the world. Well, we did say global. Well, we didn't expect not to get any from the United States. <laughs> well, we got some, but just not as many as we had anticipated. So this just goes to show you, you never know where the journey is going to take you. Yep. So we just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and bigger. better and better. Amazing. And yeah. you had so many great categories. No. The kids were so excited during the pandemic to be able to still show their talent and yes. have something to look forward to, Zelda. Yes. You yes. did a wonderful thing. Yes. To God be the glory. Thank I, you. Thank you, I, Thank you, Zelda. I was just paying attention. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like when I wrote my first book, I was just paying attention. I didn't I didn't know what I was gonna say. I just pull out pen and paper and just let it come through me. That's what I do. Yeah, I'm old school. I feel right. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. That's what I do. I didn't grow up on technology like, like today's uh, young adults are, but um, I'm learning from them all the time. And I am most grateful that they thought enough of themselves to audition because there's so many who do have talent and they're just afraid to audition. That's why we made yep. it available for them to uh, send their auditions in uh, via YouTube. So those yes. links. We thank you for those YouTube loops. 
Yes, and we do. just for the records, just so our uh, viewing audience can know a little bit about, there are five criteria in which the judges, if you haven't seen, you can go back and see it on our YouTube channel, Higher Learning TV show. And you will see the, we had judges from major market radio, television, print. Uh, on the first video, we had uh, super producer Lisa E. She was the she was the producer back in the day at WGCI. She's been all over the place. We had Jean Airman Phillips, D. Daniels from the War Woman News, uh, Dr. C.J. Mimi from Valona Health. You go back and see it. You'll see why it was so important. And Lorraine Wilson from um, Soul Ingredient Catering. She used to work in radio, so all my friends in radio and TV showed up. The second judges we had, um, I can't even rem remember who they are. Oh, Barbara McDowell, music director for Power 92. And there were a few others, and it escaped my mind right now. But if you go back and look at the video, it's round two. You'll see the other uh, judges there as well. So all of those ju judges had to contend with the fact that these phenomenal students had a choice of becoming the first prize winner. And they were judged on originality, showmanship, music selection, uh, technique, and overall performance. And the five prizes were first prize was the Bitcoin wallet, which the market value today is over $27,000. That's, that's not what's in their wallet. What's in their wallet is none of your business. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's their wallet. They have a wallet. How about that? And the second prize is the radio TV connection. Third prize was a portable keyboard. And the fourth prize and on down, higher learning network TV shows. Because they're always, they're all winners, everybody gets uh, a little something here. So you must remember to send us your uh, address. Those of you who are watching, you know our address, email address is hlntvshow at gmail.com. Right. So with that said and done, uh, I would love to give you the honor since you did all the hard work of naming those five winners for the contest. And the first winner up is, let's go with the first winner up, the first, winner you will announce and who will that be drum roll our first place winner comes from san jose california california yay and she's got a z in her name just like you zelda her name is adrian zamora winner of the Team Talent Contest 2020 right here on higherlearningnetwork.org. Congratulations, Adrienne Zamora from California. She's the one who was playing the guitar, right? Singing Unchained Melody so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Just a little soft, sweet, seductive. Yes. Pulls you in. It's like, oh, mm. really? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, she was good. She is good, not was good. She is good. So congratulations, Zamora. Adrian Zamora, little Miss Zamora. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you thank you. As we move on along, uh, Zamora, uh, excuse me, I keep calling her Zamora, because you know, because it's a Z, it's a Z thing. Uh, her first name is Adrian. Adrian Zamora wins the first prize, which is the Bitcoin wallet valued at 20 seven over twenty seven thousand dollars is going up to 29 28 29 but anyway that is not she will not be receiving twenty seven thousand dollars she will be receiving a bitcoin wallet and what's in it is only for adrian zamora to know so thank you and congratulations so let's move on to our second prize winner which is a radio tv connection and that would be another songbird another songbird Oh my goodness. This young lady is out of Marietta, Georgia. Oh. Also stole our hearts. Her name is Miss Sinria Nath. Sinria Nath. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! Sinria! Sinria. Sinria gave us the throwbacks to Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. And you can catch her. She's starting to do more and more of her own. She's a songwriter as well, Zelda. Oh, okay. Catch her on YouTube. She's got a new video. She just put it. It's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
Ghosts and Rhea. What a beautiful name to choose. Yes. And Rhea. Yeah, she's a little bitty pipe, but honey, she's a whole lot of voice. Whole she lot. sure is. Yeah. She sure is. All righty, let's move along to number three. I know everybody say, when are you going to call my name? When are you going to call my name? Third place winner wins a portable keyboard. How about that? That's an instrument. How about that? So our mm. third place winner is drum roll. Third place winner out of the Bronx, New York, is Malachi Wigerton. Malachi Wigerton from the Bronx, representing you are from the Bronx, girl. Uh, you are yep. representing up in hell. Okay, Miss Malachi, you go, girl. Hi, all right, Malachi. And she's a songwriter. I'm sure she's gonna. Uh, appreciate the keyboard she sure can malachi is a rapper dancer model incredible malachi we we know great things are in your future as well sis you did a she great was the job first contestant on this on round two wasn't she yes yes she yes. was yes because i didn't remember seeing her in round one yeah yep. all right congratulations malachi congratulations keep up the good work Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. As we move wonderful. on to our fourth place winner, which wins the Higher Learning Network TV show shirt and a few other things that they'll be pleasantly surprised when they reveal. So our fourth place winner is... We're traveling to the UK for our fourth place winner, rapper and actor, Mo Ba. Mo Ba! Yes. Woohoo! All the way from the UK. Congratulations, Mo Ba. And you just keep getting Mo better, Mo Ba. You're doing a real good job. I know your parents are proud of you. Is Mo Ba the one whose father made his transition? And your dad was right. smiling on you, said, Well done, yes. my son. Well Woo. done. Well done. He did well done. An excellent, excellent job too. Mo he Ba's sure did. Good. He did a powerful monologue that was dramatic and sad and yes. and uplifting. Yes. And yes. we are very proud of you. And I was uh, is that the first Prince of Bel Air? Okay. Yeah. That yeah. was the monologue that he did. Because I was I'm From saying to myself while he was doing it, I was like, I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> you said it was a monologue for the first Prince of Bel Air. Like, okay. Yes. He did and it's so cool. He's only 15 and he's doing a show that was on, you know, some before decades he was born. before he was even born. Before he was even born. And found that my life. And, and, great. He brought it. and he brought it. So thank you, Mobile. You might have another little Denzel on the, on, on the chart. That's okay. Right. All right, now, watch out. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Mobile. Congratulations. And last but not least, fifth place coming to the stage, coming to the stage. Get a drum roll. Fifth place and winner is our fifth place winner, and we share it with so many of you that entered. And one of you that we will mention is Kelvin Dukes from Maryland. Dukes from Maryland. From Maryland, Kelvin. You Ooh. have seen him. If you watch America's Got Talent, he was a semifinalist. He's also a model in addition to being an amazing singer. Yes. He, he is incredible. He writes music too, produces. And someone and would he's say- he's got a huge why? fan in John Legend. Yes, he sounds like John Legend. So somebody would say, why, does it, why is he number five if he sounds like John Legend? Because it's all because of the votes. If not enough people voted for you, the number of people that go down. That that does that has nothing to do with your talent. You that's right. are talented. If the people just didn't get the votes in in time, that's why you retired. And we would like to invite you as well, Kelvin Dukes, as well as Mo Ba, to come back for the round three, which will take place on February thirteenth as Valentine's Day weekend. At 12 noon, we'll have round three right here. So we're going to invite you to come back. And why are we doing that? We got a very special reason we're doing that because we had a tie. Yes. And we had some and we had a, some neck and neck, and we knew that we had to bring you back because yes. you're you took you too good. We had to see you again. Yes. Elliot Connor, yes. Ariana Fox, 
you all were our speakers and you were so great. You tied for third. So we're going to have you come back, do a runoff, yes. do a tiebreaker. We can't wait. Yes. Because they, these little young lady, young men, they were simply phenomenal. I was like, are they teenagers or are they young adults? I mean, they well, are young adults, but are they like 21 and 23 or something like that? I was like, because whatever happened to teen stop at 19, okay? Right. But they were just, they were just over the top. They were just <laughs> phenomenal. What can I say? They did it. And right. we, we got we to gotta bring you back because your numbers are the yeah. same. And yes. that's, why, that's and that's exact reason why we would like to invite Kelvin and Mo Bob back too, because that's why they came up as four and five, because their numbers are the same. Their numbers are the same. Mm -hmm. And also for uh, Lauren Machard. Mm -hmm. Lauren Machard. She was in round one. I remember her. Yes. But you can sing your behind off, but you have got to get your people to vote. So come February 13th, we'll have four contestants. Elliot Connor, Ariana Fox, Kelvin Dukes, and Lauren Machard. Those are the four. And for those who did not make it to this first and second round, if you want to compete in round three, we're open. All you have to do is let us know that you want to participate. We've already got your information in for those who are already entered but didn't. It's time for round three, so let us know. HLNTVshow at gmail.com. You've already got the information. Just let us know. I would like to participate in round three. So those are the winners of the 2020 Teen Talent Contest as we move into the 2021 Teen Talent Contest. If you would like to give our uh, viewers and winners um, some closing thoughts, Falake? Yes, I would. So as Zelda said, no one goes empty handed. We have some treats for everyone. You all were magnifique. Yes. And <laughs> the, um, Sabrina and Simone McRear sisters that sing and Simone dances on to I, I could go on and on they with, all were wonderful but wonderful this is by vote you know we can we can say who we like and we liked all of them but yes we, 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 we gotta them. go by the votes to be fair to everyone so mm -hmm. you can enter again please enter again and we will get and remind you to get those numbers up you've got to get those numbers up tell your friends your families your co-workers your haters too get them all Vote. Yep. Yep. Because that's how you do it. So that's right. We want to bless thank me, our, our our contestant from Uganda. She was our one from Africa. Thank mm -hmm. you for entering blessing. And she yeah. fought through the Yes. 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 And mm -hmm. thank all of you who entered. Every, yes. Feel free to enter to get enter again. But just know when you enter this time, you got to get your people to get get on those votes because that's how you win. That's how they. That's, win. How win. that's why we got a tiebreaker. So come back for round three. So thank you. Yep. So and, and we got some preteens. Do we want to announce them now? Yes, we had some preteens. The ones who were so young, it's like they weren't even teenagers yet. Go ahead, Falaki, please. Our first winner. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and now I'm trying to remember because we got, because they were both so great. That who do we go be... with for our first place? Leia Rabibo. Rabibo. Leia Rabibo. Oh, our little pint sized singer. Oh, Leia, you were so great. Yes. And beautiful. and everybody knows it. Leia, we really enjoyed you. Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. And the number two person for who won in the uh, category of actress would be Peyton Cooper. Oh, oh, oh. Peyton. Yes. She was so sweet Peyton. and so mild-mannered. Peyton Cooper. Yes. And Peyton, you little as actress, yes. singer. And Peyton, uh, Peyton said, I just want to act in this competition. Mm -hmm. Peyton, if you want to come again and sing for us, I, you know, I know you can sing as well. 
wonderful jobs, all of our preteens. You were so great. Yes. Yes. So we will be in touch. We we got something special we want to do for all of you as well. Yes. So never give up hope. Just know that your gift will take you places that you never even imagined. And you've got a long, long life ahead of you. You got time. Yes. Just know that your 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 talent will always make room for you. Yes, and keep doing what you're doing. And don't That's let right. anybody else tell you anything other than because you have been ordained with the gift of voice, with the gift of talent, and it will take you wherever you so desire. Just know that and be patient because you know we live in a microwave world. We want it and we want it now. That's not how life works, but just thought I'd share that with you. And thank you for all of our viewers and listeners who are watching and sharing this. Please like and share this video with others so that everybody can know who won the 2020 Teen Talent Contest, the global Teen Talent Contest. So thank you so much for liking. We look forward to having you back in 2021 when we'll do this all yep. over again. So mark your calendars, Saturday, February 13th at 12 noon will be round three of the Global Teen Talent Contest for 2021. And we hope to yep. see you. And yes. Please, please share this video. Stay on purpose, stay empowered, and stay tuned to Higher Learning with Zelda Speaks and Falake on the Higher <laughs> Learning Network. Shalom, namaste, hotel, peace. Thanks for watching. Please share it.